nearby. Don't need any more of these last second rescues. You and me both, Tech. No lab on this side. I like it better already. All right. Let's see what we can learn from the locals. What's the plan with the toxin, Hannah? If we obtain some of that nightmare acid from whatever attacked the swarm of Kapani, we can combine it with the toxin I was sent from New Hope. Hopefully someone here can fill us in on what exactly that acid is and how to get it. We still have to find a better way to the heart of the hive. Yep. I'm working on a solution for that too. This door, Scorpio. Give me a hand. Huh. Peaceful. Never thought I'd see where my family came from. Even with all the stories and memories she shared. Brad never told me why she left. Any of your family still live here? Distant relatives, I'm sure. Guess I should introduce myself. Feels like an odd way to reconnect, you know? Marching in, middle of the night. Oh, I'm sure we'll be given a warm welcome. So every day a band of armed soldiers wanders into town. Well, hopefully they'll be understanding given our rather dire circumstances. Is that music? Sounds like quite a party. Everyone must be gathered in that hall over there. Couldn't think of a better way to make our entrance. Come on, then. Hey, you can't just walk in. Just trying to find the quickest way to the hall. So, Hannah, been meaning to ask. You any relation to the coal trade? Right. Because every coal is related to Augustus. Sorry. Was just curious, is all. <laughs> Getting a sense you hear that question more than you'd like to. No, it's okay. I like my dad. I mean, yes. He's my dad. Just please, please don't ask me about Thrasher. I find it tedious. Augustus Cole. You know I saw him play. But that ain't what I remember him for. Man's a legend. The true definition of the Cog frontline hero. Yeah, you aren't wrong, Keegan. That's what everyone sees in my father. I wanted to be just like him. A lot of people find it hard to believe, but at home, the coal train is a quiet man. Thoughtful even. His introspection about the war kept me far from the military. He wanted more for me. That's what I fought for, baby. Dad said, one serum in education do more to turn the tide of war than a single grip of the gun ever could. You mentioned your degrees back when we first met. That's, uh, that's a lot to know for a kid. <laughs> yeah. Mom was always buying me books. Books for my birthday, books for special holidays. Had books out my ass. Interesting. Oh, I loved it. I think it was a distraction to keep me away from what my dad was interested in. War. Sports. And I still don't want to talk about thrash ball. How'd you meet Hoffman? Through Dad. Hoffman had the idea for this special project after what happened at New Hope. He got his hands on the New Hope toxin, but needed a specialist to do anything with it. And so, here I am, working on a plan to save the world. You know, Hoffman's been working on this plan for a long time. But when I first got here, he mostly rolled around in his wheelchair yelling out the window. He really hates the First Minister.
Someone in here willing to help. Well, that all depends on how long their party's been going on. Ugh, I hate parties. Little help here. <sighs> oh no! Everyone's gone. Looks like this ain't a diplomatic mission anymore. Can someone turn off that damn radio? Hey, Lonnie. Take a look at this. All this imagery around a creature of some kind. Can you read the language? It's been a long time since Grand taught me why Lehan. But I can try. This scroll references the Awakening. It's the rite of passage she talked about. Listen. The mantle. A terror stalks and desires to consume. Let it be your burden, but let it not feed. Journey. Our ancestors carry you across the world. Their spirits guide and watch over you. Spirit walk. Enter the Fade and journey amongst the ancestors. The path of our people will reveal your burden. The fear. Awaken. Reborn. Renewed, not consumed. Your heavy burden transformed, light as the feather. Face the creature. Ha! Huh. Looks like a big fucking bird. A bird? The feathers. Huh? Gran would tell me stories about the Wakatu, a flying demon that all children must face as a rite of passage. Are you suggesting that thing at the beach? Yes. The Wakatu isn't mythology. It's real. That's it. We track this Wakatu down and get a sample of its poison. Hey, after we figure out what's going on here, we'll find the villagers. Come on, Scorpio. Let's head into the village. This way.
trouble! Get me up! I'm coming! Good save! No 
bodies. No sign of the villagers. Where'd they go? They have more use for us alive, Lonnie. Those are the pods here, though. They take them somewhere. A defensible structure. The temple up on the ridge. We can still save them. Let's go. You doing okay, Hannah? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm good. We've got your back. That's right. Thanks, guys. Go. I'm just hoping not too late. Let's go. There are stories of people who survived being snatched and potted. But we need to be prepared for the reality that those chances are often slim. I'm not giving up on them. Let's get to the temple. the last of them. This just doesn't make sense. Even the locusts couldn't throw between the islands. That's why Sanctum was built on Tohanu. How did they get to Alehi? Blades charge! Help. Come on. Look. In the tree. 
collected feathers from the Wakatu and brought them here. No pods, though. No bodies. coming from the feathers. It seems to have some kind of psychological effect. Makes you hear stuff, right? Stuff you'd rather not think about. Yeah. Yeah. But this incense, it's negating the toxic effects. We saw the same incense in the ritual room, back on Pahanu when we first landed. This proves that we can find the Wakatu. But right now, we need to find the villagers. Let's secure the village. Then we can go hunting for that Wakatu if you want. Even one day too late. One day makes all the difference. They're gone. We couldn't save them. So, what the hell are we going to do about it? 